There are brand new photos from the filming of Jurassic World Rebirth in Thailand that give us some new exciting information about the movie from the same source that brought us the first look at that InGen sign. We have more prop photos and we might even be able to glean some information about the island from these photos, whatever island this film is heading to. There's a new photo of one of the vehicles. There's a closer look at one of the dinosaurs. There's a lot to go over, so let's waste no time. Welcome back to Jurassic Outpost. Let's dive in. Before I begin, before we truly look at these photos, let me say that these photos are indeed considered leaks and for some will contain spoilers. So please be aware that what we will be discussing today could spoil some parts of the movie for some of you. No, it's not plot details and no, it's not anything major really, but even the smallest details are considered spoilers to some. So this is your fair warning. So this all began through a Facebook post of all things. A Jurassic Park group received a post from a guy called Anthony who shared his experiences while on the set of Rebirth while it was filming in Thailand. He was not a crew member but said that he and his wife followed the filming in Krabby as it progressed and even got to keep some of the props. You might remember the InGen logo that was featured in the shot behind Mahershala Ali. Well that sign was shared by Anthony a few days after that photo was officially released and we got a much closer look at InGen new logo or their old logo depending on what status InGen has in this new movie. Anyway Anthony is back and he shared a lot more so let's go through it piece by piece. He said, Jurassic World Rebirth locations, Krabby, Thailand, June slash July 2024. Extreme excitement while following the location scenes around for six weeks while filming in Krabby. Many photos I cannot share until the movie is released. No spoilers here. I did manage to save a lot of the original props and signs from the movie. A massively fun experience I'll never forget. A fantastic groups of people working on this production that made it all a dream come true. Now I just can't wait to see Jurassic World Rebirth. Here in the photos you will see the tall grass scenes and the pontoon scenes holding the flares. That sign you see on the pontoon is the exact sign shown in my photo. You'll have to zoom in really close to see it. So let's go through the photos that Anthony shared. First up is that InGen sign. The next one is a new sign, another sign from the island, whatever this island is, Service Road K2. InGen Biogenetics logo up there in the corner and we see emergency dock and fuel depot. This sign is pretty destroyed, rusted, and there's even a slice down it which does look like a claw mark, damaged by a dinosaur potentially service road. I mean, all of this reminds me of the type of signage that we would see on Isla Sauna, but judging by Anthony's own comments, he thinks the island is a completely new location not seen in a previous movie. Anyway, the next photo shows us the second unit slate, and this coincided with this shot showing kayaks being filmed, a pontoon where the jib and camera was stationed. This location is going to be fantastic. It really captures that Jurassic feeling, the isolated island. There's also a video which shows some of the actors being shuttled around, likely back and forth to film this kayak shot, although that is unconfirmed. It's hard to make out who these people are, but if we view this other photo, we can see Manuel Garcia Rolfo here and what I assume are stunt doubles for his in-movie daughter, Audrina Miranda, or potentially Luna Blaze, but again, it's hard to tell from the low-resolution video. We know that Manuel plays a father figure, so what we can glean from this is that his character and his children somehow end up in kayaks on or near this island, perhaps after their boat is attacked. So jumping around a bit here, we have a close-up shot of the dead parasaur. This is the same blue variant that we see in the snow sequences of Dominion. It's now slaughtered to death in Rebirth, you might remember. There's a previous video of this prop that we had in a previous Outpost video on this channel. Anyway, a piece of this dinosaur is seen here positioned on a piece of the temple set and the guts of this dinosaur were made for the movie in detail. There's a lot of them, intestines and the like, which I think might say a lot about what we're going to see in this movie. 
You can see here a lot of the props from the movie. There's a large InGen sign, the Parasaur guts all in a bucket there. I mean, this they really made these guts in detail. There's a sign to the right that says emergency supply shed. I mean, there really is a lot going on here. And there's even a shot of Anthony holding up a prop rock here in front of what appears to be a bunch of other prop rocks. Could this be an entrance to the temple? So you might be wondering why all of these props have been stored here. Well, according to Anthony himself, a Jurassic World 4 locations tour will open after the release of the movie. You'll get to see and touch the props, sit in the actors' chairs, canoe in the very swamp featured in the movie, visit the caves and other locations. So much like the Kualoa Ranch offer in Hawaii, Rebirth will have tours for tourists. Pretty cool. Here's that shot of the chairs. One says JW4 Saga, the other Scarlett Johansson. You can also see a Rex icon at the top of those vanity mirrors there. So we got some more photos. We've got a shot of Anthony's wife on the dock featured in the movie. Anthony in front of the long grass and even a video of that same location. Definitely getting a sense that this long grass location is gonna become quite an iconic one once the movie is released. Now the next shots are definitely interesting. You might remember this bar location, the one with the Suriname flag on top of the roof there. This is a filming location for the movie and we now get a look inside that bar and inside what appears to be these large Megalodon jaws. The Megalodon was a large, a very large shark that was swimming around roughly 20 to 30 million years ago. It's long extinct and did not swim at the same time as the dinosaurs, but was shockingly large compared to modern day sharks. And we've got another shot of the prop made for the movie. It will be interesting to see exactly how this is featured in Rebirth. Now this last shot I will give another warning for, so spoilers ahead. The vehicle pictures for some reason seem to be quite a touchy subject, but there's a shot Anthony shared showing the vehicle, at least a small portion of it, with both the Rex icon and the InGen logo, so spoilers ahead. You can see the Rex icon up there and the InGen logo to the right there. So what does this tell us? These vehicles, whatever they are, might have been made for some sort of resort, perhaps another Jurassic Park back in the day. The fact that these vehicles, this island features the InGen logo potentially tells us that this is an older location, but it's also the inclusion of the Rex icon that makes this very interesting. The Rex icon was never seen on Site B, InGen's factory floor, at least to us, the audience. The vehicles in the Lost World that were made for that movie only featured an InGen logo. So this Rex icon, at least in the franchise, current law, if you want to call it that, only appears at the parks, at locations of Jurassic Parks or the Jurassic World Park, for example. Is this new island, if it's not Site B that we're going to after all, one of InGen's older, I'm talking in the 90s, locations for another park that never came to be? John Hammond talks of other sites, other locations for other Jurassic parks. We know that there were plans in the novels. This is alluded to as well. Perhaps Rebirth is taking us to one of these other potential sites. Now, the last thing I will talk about today is a series of leaks that have been coming out about this movie. I've heard this from a number of places now, but again, spoiler warning, I can't verify any of this information and I'm not gonna go on record saying that this is true. So this leaker himself cannot be verified to confirm. I've got no idea of the legitimacy of this person, but he says, Jurassic World Rebirth rumors roundup time. New island used for all kinds of experimentation. The big three, Quetzalcoatlus, Mosasaurus, and Titanosaurus. Mostly new designs for every Every single species, Spinosaurus returns, and some kind of mutant creature is the villain. All of this is conjecture. I mean, some of this can be derived from the set photos and plot synopsis. There's no confirmation on any of this, and until we hear it officially, I would suggest keeping this on the rumor side for now. But if the mutant creature is to be believed, then I certainly hope this movie holds nothing back. I mean, at this point, with where the franchise has ended up, I'll take anything, especially if it goes into darker territory. Remember those R-rated rumors? They definitely sounded great to me. I mean, this movie is not gonna be R-rated, but I really would love an R-rated Jurassic for more reasons than one. Anyway, that's all I've got for today. Share your thoughts down below, and as always, thank you for watching.